when I feel like I did a good job, had a nice day, did a good game show recording session. I was listening over, and you can barely hear my commentary over the game audio because it's been a while since I've done a direct OBNS recording like this. So, I didn't realize, like, that everything kind of reset, and in Elgato, I was really loud. And because I was trying to be the, take the lazy way out, and just record directly off my streaming layout instead of recording the audio for the commentary, separate from the gameplay audio, there's not really- I, I can't like buff up the audio and fix it. <laughs> I can't figure this would be easier to re-record everything from scratch anyways. The filler was already recorded without a mic anyway. And I haven't even had a chance to go swimming. So why not leave you that? Hey everyone! Welcome for some more game chill. The downside is like now instead of it being 9 o'clock, it is 10 o'clock. Um, meaning I'm even more tired, and might be a little tired to talk. Also, like I can, I really have to have an idea since I'm uh, recording because TV's way too close and I can barely even see the shadows. This album is fun. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I could start with what's going on with the channel because, like, you may know that this is a bit sooner of a gaming show than I would normally have one this soon. At least I think it's sooner than normal. It feels sooner than normal. And it's, especially because like it's probably it's gonna be two game shows in a row before I even upload any sort of podcast commentary. I have to ask just a matter of me trying to get a feel or or something that I want to do before I fully return back to podcasting. So the other thing I've been sitting in an art block because last game show didn't have an art block. What I said was like I was gonna record the art block and then come back to game and chill. And it'd be all back to normal. I feel like I was gonna go somewhere with that. So but I forgot, so I'll just go on the tangent of saying since I catch this freaking skull, there's whatever's going coming away. Scallops don't swim, do they? It's just the actual sea creature said to you? I think we're gonna find out. Oh I, can't, oh, I can't take off accessories while I'm swimming. Because I was gonna say, it's kind of weird to like have bubble gum. A bubble bubble. A bubble of a bubble gum. In my mouth. While I'm swimming across the ocean blue. And they'll take back, so. Podcast tactics, yeah. So, I for apologies if I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah, live stream. This is a live stream night, and I've kind of just been on and off trying to get back into live streaming. I was so close to doing it tonight, but like, by the time I actually sat down on the computer and actually started doing, getting ready for this sort of thing, I realized how late it already was. I figured like it's, I figured it'd be better to just do some, a recording I could do off stream. Like a game chill instead of like a live recording. Because I feel like it's a little bit different than environment. Overall, live recording is more convenient, but there are, especially when I'm doing the lazy way out and just using. doing it like this instead of the two different audio files. There is perks of doing it this sort of way. I think the biggest thing is like this is I can get away with like just recording for an hour and calling it as, calling it a night after an hour. When with a live stream, I feel I have done it before, but I feel a lot more inclined to like do a live stream for two hours with the way the Twitch environment is and all that. And more so, and the other thing is with the live stream versus recording environment. I, I can take breaks in between episodes. You can sort of do that live on Twitch, but because you're in an environment, if there's actually other people watching a live stream, you're kind of expecting me to talk all the time. 
when I'm just recording on my own, I can, like, take a break from talking if I feel like it's needed before going on to the next ep episode. And I guess that's the main reason why I decided to stream the show. After all, like, I was... I was tempted to just upload our block by itself because I didn't, because I haven't got around to actually recording something like this. So that's all good in itself. And if you can't tell, I've been feeling better since the last game show. Like I think there's still some off days I've been having, but it's a lot less frequent than usual. And I'm getting more and more confident that I can like slowly weed my way back into streaming schedule. I, I won't fully feel like feel confident that I'm back in the swing of things until I actually do two streams a week. Especially when, like, Saturday used to be so consistent for me. It's kind of a shame to have to miss tonight. I might sneak a stream in on Sunday, though. Make up for it. And I think, like, after... I'm gonna use April to try to get back in the swing of things. And hopefully, like, have something consistent going on. Going into May. All that said, though... I think I'm having a bit of a brain. Sorry. Like, I feel wide awake. I feel pretty energetic in my voice, you can't tell. But then I just have, like, brain lapses and other kinds of things that just make me feel, remind myself that I'm tired. And the fact of talking only six minutes straight and already feeling like I need some water. I guess the getting back into the podcasting, like the it's kind of not exactly an excuse because I only thought about it now, but I wanted to kind of look into other host services. SoundCloud's been fine, but I like live streams kind of been the thing I kind of want. The thing that I was getting at with the podcast earlier was was this there was this one hosting site that I've been meaning to look into for a while. It's just that, like, I already have things set up for podcasting over on SoundCloud, so I wasn't really, like, in a rush to do it, but I was just thinking tonight, like, for some reason, like, I've been thinking about this for at least a couple months. I should at least look at what the site is. And so I did, and the fun thing is, like, I've uploaded a bit of backlog. I have way too huge of a backlog to upload all of it, but I kind of, like, took the highlights from any everywhere from 2019 to now. Like, the, like, my favorite ones, or at least the ones that seem the least likely to be dated. And upload them all on this test server. And I haven't hit the limit yet. If there even is a limit. And if there isn't a limit, it makes me, I feel pretty confident about just swapping things over there. Now on the video side of things, like... That does remind me, like, the other thing I want to do before fully getting back into the swing of podcasting is I want to have a backlog, which is hard to do with podcasts. Because, like, half the reason I stopped doing current events in Pokemon Go was just because of how quickly news got out there and just the way my life is organized. Like, I need to have a backlog for all the types of content I do, otherwise it's impossible for me to be consistent with it all. So new stuff in that doesn't really, like, pan out. The thing, though, is that even with edit- Even with editorials, it's a bit hard to make something that's interesting to talk about, but isn't likely to just become outdated. Why am I struggling with this little guy so much? There we go. I should probably finish. I didn't, didn't think I would reach a point where I ran out of things to talk about. You know what? Let me find land and just. My throat's a bit itchy too. So I can. Feels a little weird to need a water break like 10 minutes in the commentary. But I do. Alright. Where was I? So I guess I'm tangent of editorials. Trying to get that going before really getting back into podcast swinging of things. I was thinking about like doing a live stream on Sunday to make up for the fact I didn't live stream tonight. 
I'm playing that one by ear though. I'm like I said, playing podcasting or streaming in by ear for the next few weeks. Just until I like feel comfortable and getting back into a routine. And I was bringing all that up because I was gonna say I know how important backlog but backlogs are and how valuable streaming is for an easy way to build up a backlog. Because like I've been I've been out of the live stream scene for about a month, and I still have GBL. I still have Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee stuff going on. To the point where I'm actually able to still do my bi-weekly upload of those sorts of things. And feel pretty comfortable about not running out until the end of this month. And I think, like, that's a big, big, big reason why I wanted to, like, that's a big reason why podcasting hasn't been easy to be consistent with. Part of the reason why it, I wanted to get back into actually doing, like, a post-production, non-livestream, non-glorified VOD, let's play sometime in the future, this freaking whatever it is. To just stop eluding me for once. I'm stubborn and I'm still going after it because, like, if it's been eluding me this quickly, it just gives me a good feeling. Ah, shoot. If I could actually stay underwater for, like, two more seconds, I would have had the freaking thing. But it's gotta be pretty good. It's gotta be pretty rare, you'd think. If, like, I. Ugh. Follow the bullets. Alright, at least I can cut it off now. Shoutouts to this not being the old G Animal Crossing. And they can actually like swim under the barrier area that you can get to. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll see what this is, because it just won't. I just can't get it. It just keeps running. Sorry, I will not rest until I get the stupid lamb, or whatever it may be. And I don't think tapping the button faster is gonna make me swim faster. I think I just have to time it so I can like catch it under the water before it runs off. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit closer. Come on, 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 you stupid little sea creature. Do I even want to know how long I've been chasing this thing? Yeah, of course, it went the other way. I'm going to get you. You can't run forever. I'm gonna corner you somehow, I'm gonna catch you walking. Come on, come on, just stop. Swimming away from me. I'm gonna get you super Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 Gotta get trapped into the corner still. You can't swim away forever. Can't eventually you gotta say never. Come on, come on, you stupid thing, come on, stay away from me. I mean to the opposite of staying away pretty please. I'm getting tired of tapping A so rapidly. Stupid, stupid, stupid fish. Come on, give me a bunch of stupid, stupid, stupid fish. I just want to. I'm gonna end up actually catching this other thing that hasn't been eluding me so gracelessly. Come on, come on, you stupid fish. Come on, come on, you stupid fish. Come on, come on, you stupid fish. Come on. I didn't wish I could catch. I will never until I know what the heck you are. I've spent so much time and gone so far to give up now and just not get whatever you may be. Finally! All that for a lobster. Really? That was like a solid two minutes of swimming away for a lobster. The worst part is like I've been on so long, I've forgotten completely where, what the heck I was up to. Well, at least anything else I go after tonight can't be as bad as that. Yeah. 
I'm taking some pre-recorded Let's Plays. Oh no, not another one. Come on, nothing can be as bad as a lobster. Let me at least try to keep the tangent going while talking this time. I have an idea. I've been having some ideas for a while of what to do for like a Wednesday slot post-production Let's Play series. And... The one I've been thinking of the longest, I might put a bit on hold. Because I thought of another idea that'd be like a good practice. It's a game that I feel like I definitely would need to post-commentate. Because it'd be pretty hard to commentate live. And I was gonna like record it tonight, or at least like give a test run to see if it, it would work as well as I was expecting. But instead, like, lobsters and clams, and everything in between, just keep swimming away from me. Being incredibly stubborn. And <laughs> stalling out the game and shit. <sighs> Including making me actually run into yeah! You gotta be kidding me. Of all things I could get. Now I'm gonna trigger a cutscene with Pastel going around begging for my scallop. I mean, of course I'm gonna give it to him because he's a cool dude. And whatever I was chasing is definitely gonna swim away in the time frame that Pastel gives me some cool, laying the truth, deep feels, deep sayings. If my life doesn't give you lemons, but it does give you potatoes. Don't try making potato aid, man. Hey. Oh. Well, we can try again. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna re get around to that recording tonight. It's a bit of a shame, but there'll be other nights. I'm not. I'm. I'm specifically not like. Promising any sort of Wednesday uploads for a while. So specifically because I know it's gonna take me a bit. Heck yeah, second laughter. Didn't get nearly as far away from me <laughs> during the pastel thing as I thought it would. Something tells me we're gonna dine good tonight. Yeah, oh, that's. Game. Hopefully, like, I, I'd love to do it again someday, but I think my first priority is to get my normal, my Tuesday, Thursday Let's Play slot backlog built up again before I start worrying too much about that. I just thought it might be a fun thing to, like, test out tonight if I wasn't already, like, doing my second type of game and chill, where I actually end up chasing a lobster for a good solid five minutes. <laughs> Well, I see that's all that's going on on YouTube then. I don't mind like keeping this one a bit short because I might be- I feel like I'm going to be doing game with show a bit more frequently until I get back in the podcast swing. It's a good way like just to get myself used to commentating again in general. I guess we talked a little bit about what's going on in life. Today in particular was a nice day. It kind of started out kind of meh, but as I spent more time with it going through it all, I feel like things got a little bit easier. I think the big problem was just like, I'm not sure if I just didn't get enough sleep, but I felt kind of tired for the first half of the day and just felt, couldn't get myself to really do anything. It wasn't all bad though, because like, it made a perfect opportunity to like help out family and all that, because like, I didn't, there's things I wanted to do, but I knew I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't do them because I wasn't. I couldn't get myself to feel up. Couldn't feel, didn't feel up to doing no matter what. And I knew I'd just be like staring at my phone or things like that during, during the whole time frame instead. Uh, late in the afternoon, eventually I went out. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but then I remember it was the day before Easter and everything would be stupidly crowded. So. I just stuck for the wall, filled up on gas. Because the main reason I wanted to go out was to get to the gas station and fill up on pop, because it's like a particular type of pop that's real cheap at the gas station that I like. 
Unfortunately, like, they were out of, like, the particular amount. It was a Kickstarter amount to do, I'll just say. They were out of the flavor that I actually wanted to get. But at least I filled up my gas and got something. And the time out was real good. So I went to, like, the park. Got a nice amount of walking in. The typical Pokemon Go stuff I do on a walk. Even got a few raids in that I've been needing. Like, all this time Mega Men quick but now on Pokemon Go, I haven't really gotten enough Mega Energy for it yet. But, I was able to do two raids and get that taken care of today. Top, plus on top of that, like I found one, I found on Time Mode. I think I still have to need a little bit more candy for that. I think I'll have enough once I actually transfer everything, but kind of waiting for the next spotlight hour where I can just double in and capitalize on all that. And, like, they have that fairy form of Tornadus, like the one that looks like a bird. I haven't done that in a while. Like, between just, like, knowing that I only need one and not really ha having too much luck buying them in the remote raids because. As a. As purely a dex filler, doesn't have any practical use in the game. In raids, PvP, or anything, whatever. Purely just a dex filler. So it's nice to actually get that done. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about something else. Well, I guess I forgot, like, got home it was right around when, like, everyone was having dinner. Plus, like, it's the dog's birthday, so we spent a little time... We're spending some time celebrating that, which is a big reason why I was not in a rush to get online for streaming. And when I got around to actually streaming, that's when I had, like, the whole thing I was talking about earlier about deciding to actually play around with this other podcast open thing. It is shipping up. It is looking to be very promising. So unless, like, I discover magically some sort of catch, I might, I'll probably be able to announce that the next game is chill, the new host site area for Game & Chill. I just realized that makes it a little awkward. Because I wanted to, didn't want to like wait until I went back in this podcast and to do that. But like, if this is Game & Chill, but if this new host, this host looks so promising, I don't want to upload anything until then. I guess I could upload to YouTube. Obviously, by the time you guys are hearing it, you'll know exactly what's up. Because I've already done it. Let's see, I got about a 15 minute recording here. Oh yeah. I was trying to remember some things that have happened to me since the last time Game & Chill has happened. But that was so soon ago, and I've been feeling so forgetful. The only thing I can remember is that I got the, my first shot of the vaccination. So that's nice. Kind of wanted to see what Blast were at. Yeah, I like skipped. I had like a whole bunch of stuff I dumped into the museum for the last time. So. This is a fun fact. Lobsters actually have six claws. Four tiny claws aren't really as threatening as the large pressure claw. The pitcher could put a hundred pounds of pressure in a pitch. A little something bear in mind. The last time the lobster tri tries to shake your hand. And there you have it. And a little less, I don't know, a little more underwhelming than I thought it'd be, but... What I'm real curious about is how much this little sucker catches in for with how much of a pain it was to catch. Yeah, I got my first shot of the vaccination. The sad part is I know that, like, my life... Oh, that's a good chunk. The world's not gonna feel normal to me. Even after getting the vaccination. And that's on top of, like, the thing that everyone already knew about... The whole concept that the world isn't gonna go back to normal. Just because the vaccination is done. It just goes an extra mile for me because even when everyone's vaccinated, the world won't be back to normal to me. 
I think I... I hate to say trauma, because I... I feel like that undermines people experience real trauma, but I can't think of another way to describe it. Just something feeling traumatic about all this. Like, in the sense that it just shaped... It reshaped my perspective of humanity. I think forever. And not exactly in a positive way. I'll just, I think that's a good way to leave it at, without getting too personal. Maybe, like, once things start getting back to normal, I can start trusting people a little bit more again. I guess it might have been related to, like, the depressions that, like, kept me from commenting and live streaming as well. Hard to say for sure, though. And I feel like I... I'm gonna stop before I actually get too personal. And that's fine, because I've done everything I really can think of to do around Animal Crossing. As we already got over a 17 minute recording, and our block is at least gonna be. I think this art block's at least 20 minutes, and I haven't even recorded anything of like my dream game. Any of the dream game. Any to talk about my dream game that I wanted to showcase. Like, there's a chance that I might just push that off to the next game and chill, because our block's so long as is. Either way, check it out. And as the clock strikes the time of the unknown do to do I think it's time for more art block. Again, sorry I can include this in the end of the last game and chill, but it would have added another 10 minutes onto the commentary at the very least. Probably more like 20 or 30 after I actually go over Overseer of the Element concept arts. Because I got like 10 minutes of just all the fan art sketches and digital drawings I've done. And I just wanted to make sure I gave it the proper time that I felt it deserved. Especially because I think the game plan is going to be to just record all the non-Overseer of the Element stuff now, and then maybe tomorrow or another day that I'm actually feeling up the commentary recording the back half of Art Block. <sighs> but instead of rambling anymore, why don't I just get into it? Got a lot to cover between February, March, and who knows at the rate that I'm going with getting this out. Maybe even April a little. Because I'm already glossing over a lot of sketches I did for time restraint, but I really want to make sure I at least talked about the Jenna sketch I did, just because it feels like it had a special story to it. Not too much, just one day at work, I couldn't think of what else to do, so I drew the keychain I got. So the first piece I did was a little, just trying to replicate, mimic the art style of the keychain. And the second drawing you're seeing in a little bit was one I did in an art style that feels more like my own. The keychain is like a lucky charm to me because it's from an artist I started following when I was googling Jenna fan art on a day I was really sad and it made me happy. So I started following her work and I've been a huge fan of it ever since. I don't even want to attempt to try to pronounce her username. So eh, I'll try to remember to throw a little URL link up here. But she's a fantastic artist, does a lot of Golden Sun art, so if you're a fan of Golden Sun, highly encourage to check out her Twitter. Which I had more time to go into the full story relating to the keychain, but to abridge it, she doesn't have her art shop open too often, and she's all the way in Spain, so... Last time they were open, I just bought a whole bunch of Golden Sun keychains, along with a special one I was hoping to give to Lukachin. A YouTuber I watched the next time Con Brothel came around, but then COVID kind of became a thing. <laughs> Sorry, it'd be down the mood. But, point being, like, it's just my favorite Jenna piece ever. Just like, I know there's definitely been better Jenna artwork out there, but the cheapy. I just think, like, between eating the apple and the cheapy poles and the art style, it just. It's a perfect formula for cute. And I've been trying to have it on me ever since, like... Ah, shoot, how am I ever gonna get through the general art in just 10 minutes? I spent, like, frickin' three minutes just rambling about my lucky keychain. 
like this is a piece of fan art from one of Tom Fox's Nuzlocke streams. I, I feel like it required a lot of context filling in to explain it, but think of Helix and Dome and the fan art is the equivalent of that from that particular live stream. That's the abridged version at least. Up next I decided to revisit that project I did during Stephen George's extra live stream where I was trying to make a Peggy for every single game that they played for Extra Life. It's both more and less effort than I did back then because it's only sketches, but I feel like I put a lot more into these Peggy sketches than I did the Extra Life one because for, for what I did during Extra Life itself, it was mostly just like taking the Peggy drawing I did previously and like either paste on or draw in like one or two extra things like give Peggy a hat for Mario or something like that. So it was a lot more fun to like draw Peggy from the scratch every single time and really stylize it depending on the game. There's still a few games that I'm missing so maybe I'll come back and revisit that project again sometime in the future. I'm, I, I got a little carried away with like the guilty party <laughs> Peggy. Like it's gonna just be a Peggy, and then turn into basically a full-fledged fan art, minus the fact of it actually being colored in. Also got a few Pokemon sketches going to throw in here real quick. They kind of vary between just random Pokemon, some Mega Evolutions. Even though it's definitely the worst of the bunch I've done, I wanted to draw a little extra attention to the Pokemon trainer that I did, specifically because. I got real excited when they announced Pokemon Legends and that trainer design. I don't know, I just really like the trainer design even though her face just looks like Dawn's face pasted on. I liked everything else about the design so much I wanted to do a drawing. It's just a shame that I don't feel like it came out that great. But there are a lot of weird details to it that I normally don't draw so maybe I do better on a second attempt. I was going to save this for after I talked about my completed pieces. But while I'm on the tangent of Pokemon anyways, I did have a special drawing plan for the 25th anniversary, but then I got distracted by some other drawings that I ended up doing and finishing first. But the sketch is done at the very least, so I guess I can show you a little preview of what I have planned. Those of you who know the memes on my channel and maybe the Pokemon Go AR Instagram account, you probably know where this is going already, If even if you do, like the lore of Compton Felgen has been expanded so much just from this drawing that it's going to be fun to share it. Like a lot of it's based on just the Pokemon I've been catching in Go in particular, but I never really had an opportunity to like make a post or a meme revolving around it to actually express the Compton Falcon lore that's been expanding. In fact, it's even outlined digitally, I just have to finish coloring and doing brushes with that. But it seems like dinner is ready, so let me step away from this for a little bit, and when I come back, no time at all for you, I'll showcase the completed pieces I completed in March and February. Well, it certainly seems like the theme of this game and chill is jinxing myself. <laughs> Say you take a little break and I don't record again for another like week and a half just because I'll be honest, I, I haven't been feeling that great. Like there's been days like today that I've been feeling great and like nothing's wrong. But just earlier on in the day I just couldn't get anything done. Terrible headache, other days just, just body's kind of meh, and I know there's things coming up in the future that's just going to make it a lot worse. All that said, I do want to do a little more art block. I want to at least try to get this art block done, even if I don't get around to recording the next Game & Chill for another few weeks. I think like streaming and uploads, if you couldn't already tell, Gonna be pretty sporadic for things going forward. If I'm not feeling too bad after the alleged COVID shots that I'll be getting 
in a couple days. Might like try to get back in the streaming, but even then, like I'm not gonna dedicate a time frame like I normally do the whole every other day thing. It's gonna just kind of be at my own pace. For right now, late May, early June is what I'm gonna plan to try to get back into a streaming slash podcast schedule. If I'm up and going towards it, have a nice bat log before then, I'll reconsider. And I'll definitely be another game and show before then, so I'll give an update accordingly. But for now, like, this is a weird place for me to put an update, but uh, knowing with just how on and off I've been the past couple days, I'm starting to realize that if I don't give an update now, I may not actually be able to record another game chill for another week yet or so if I um, keep up this weird pattern. Anyways, on the art block that you're all here for. First piece I did here was earlier on in February. It was right around, the sketch at least, was done originally around the time frame that Lukachin YouTuber was doing her Mario RPG LP and just got to the part where you fight the optional super boss Kulix, I believe is pronounced. Being one of the first full arts I've done with Clips Paint Studio, I think this is where I started experimenting with brushes and all that. Especially with the background, like I think this first piece where I really went all out with like the backgrounds and really tr actually tried to get a hang of the shading. Which is honestly, shading is honestly like something I struggle a lot with, with in art. I specialize a lot more in flat colors. But I'm kind of okay with shading when sketching things out. But point being, like I think it turned out pretty well with the crystals. And I'm fairly happy with everything going on in the background as well. I think I really just captured the feel of that particular area that the boss fight takes place in. And on a tangent of Lugogen theme fan art, there's this. I don't know how personal I want to get with other people's content. Like, it was posted publicly, but all I'm say, gonna say is, like, there's hard times going on in the community. So it felt fitting to do something like this, even though I'm putting off the Cotton Falcon piece again. Really just playing around with trying to capture the fluffiness of Mareep in here. Hindsight, I like, I see what I was trying to do with like making the fluff with the brush strokes I did, but I'm kind of wondering if it would turn out better if I just used a normal brush for the outline. Mareep actually kind of came out a little bigger than I was planning, but like, I basically, when I, even when I realized how big the mirror was, I decided to roll with it. The more fluffiness, the better, after all. And again, just still trying to learn, try to get the best feel for, make the most out of Clip Studio brushes as I can. And I think it came out okay with like the grass, even the sky. The sky is a little weird, but okay. I really like what I did with the tail too, though. Last but not least, at least. If I actually recorded this when I was planning, is this little piece I did for Marie. Like, it took a little longer than I was expecting, but it's still like maybe a couple hours, like a single day sort of project. So if something feels a little rushed about it, that's probably why. But the thing I'm happy most about this was the fact that it was something I did completely digitally. Even with the past couple pieces, excuse me, that I did. They were actually sketched out first in my sketchbook, I took a picture on my phone, and then basically like traced them over digitally and worked on them from there. This is the first time in a long time that I actually did something digitally from scratch. So of course I'm happy that it actually turned out well despite like having the background sketch be so helpful. It's kind of like an idea I just got out of the spur of blue too because Twitter was talking about like March 13th, I think, or March 13th is Mario, I think, and March 14th is Marie. No, no. March 13th is Marie, I think it's March 12th that would, or March 10th that would spell out Mario. So March 13th spells out Marie. So everyone just made it an official Marie day, and it just reminded me how long it's been since I last did a drawing of Marie from Splatoon, despite her being 
Honestly, her and Callie are just my favorite characters from that game in general. It's kind of like trying to choose between Chi and Yukiko. Maybe there's a favorite, but it, the two of them together just... One compliments the other to a point where I couldn't imagine the pair separated. I think the last time I did a piece of fan art of Marie was... Not last, not the last time Con Bravo was around because that's when I did physical pieces for everyone. But the Con Bravo before that, just like wow, no Con Bravo 2020. So that was be back in 2018, over two years since last did something up for Splatoon in general, let alone Marie. So I was thinking like, eh, I can repost that art, or I could actually do something about it. And that's how this piece of fan art was born. Like I said before, that would have been the last thing if all went to plan and this gaming show was completed around the same time that I initially recorded that first part way back in March. But instead, I did manage to do this. Um, in a couple days ago, at least of the time that I'm recording this, We'll see when it actually gets uploaded, it's like, last week of March, as I'm doing this particular part of the commentary. I'm not sure if indie game is the best way to describe it, but it's definitely not a game you would find AAA published. Like, the only way I heard about it was one of the YouTubers that I listened to, or, yeah, one of the artists that I listened to did a cover of the game. One of the songs in there, and it just had me hooked, and I was thinking about it for a while, and I'm not, I can't, I don't even remember what eventually made me get around to playing it, but I know that I did eventually get around to playing it because it was free to play. And despite it really being a rhythm game, like if you played Step Mania and enjoy that, you'll be right at home with a game like this. And I enjoy it a lot, like it's kind of weird, like it's not even like my tone of game. I guess it just like dances around. The this is right around the PG-13 marking that I would normally want to play a game with. But enough about the game itself, I kind of want to talk a little bit about what I did with it. It started out as just a sketch, something to like ease my mind while I'm trying to get ready for bed one day, and I just kind of liked how the sketch turned out so much that I really felt like it'd be worth my time to flesh it out a bit more. And I'm pretty happy with how the shame came out. Mind you, like, the game, I'll admit, like, the, sh the game practically spelled out for me how to fade or shade the character in order to actually wor have it look decently. And because my art style is simple, kind of like how the art style of the game is, it's a very easy translation between how the shade in my art style versus how the shade in theirs. In fact, like, can, might, it might look a little bit more like their art style than how I typically would do my art style, just because they were similar enough that the reference was a really useful reference. Like, borderline copy, I guess, but I feel like it's not, it's different enough that it's not like a complete copy. Kinda happy with how it turned out, like, regardless on how you define this copy and how much you define as doing my own thing. Especially because, like, my the part that I'm most proud of isn't even with how I drew the character. It was a shame, as I mentioned before, and just, oddly enough, just the freaking arrows. Like, I know it was probably not even, like, that great, but I just thought it was a cool idea of just implementing the arrows as, like, an amount the visual equivalent of an onomatopoeia of sound coming from the speakers. Just because it's a rhythm game and the arrows look exactly like they do in the game as you're seeing here. I just thought it was clever. And clever enough to be worth the time to like take the time to draw every single one of those arrows and there's probably a tool that would have saved me a lot of time but because I wasn't too aware of it. I did the outline for each one of those arrows individually. I think, like, that alone just <laughs> probably took up as much of the drawing as actually 
drawing the character and the speakers. But in my humble opinion, it was worth it. Now, it's late and I gotta get ready for work in the morning. Like, the only reason I'm doing this now is because... Kind of like... I only started feeling better enough to actually commentate around the evening, and even then I just got distracted with other things like watching streams and that because like I was feeling so out of it today, I didn't really even feel up to watching a stream. Like when I said I took naps, I flat out took a nap. <laughs> and I, I go on this tangent again because like I say that I'm going to come back to this like tomorrow and commentate for Overseer of the Elements sketches, but I honestly don't believe myself anymore. So there's a chance that it'll end off here, and if so, I'll see y'all.